I'm going to show you how to use Google Tasks Canvas, which is a powerful feature that comes with Gmail that allows you to manage your to-do list in a very efficient manner. However, this is not a feature that is very well known. So I'm going to show you how to access Google Tasks Canvas, set it up for doing your task management according to the David, David Allen's Getting Things Done principles. So let's search for um, Google Tasks Canvas on Google. Google Tasks Canvas. And the first thing that comes up underneath the ads is one called Google Tasks Gmail. Notice that the email the address is mail.google.com slash tasks slash canvas. So I'll click on that and we come to the default list. So now what I want to do is set this up for my personal system that I usually use for managing my tasks. So under task lists, the f there'll be one list that's created for you. So let's rename this one. I want to call it um, with a pound sign and tasks. The pound sign means that this list will appear first in the list. So that will be my list for main tasks. I'll also create a list for, I'll call it someday maybe projects. Things I'll do for someday maybe. I may create a list for, um, right now I'm trying to plan our wedding. So I'll create a list for comma wedding. Comma means it will appear above the items that don't have commas. And um, so that should be good enough for now. So if I go back to tasks, I can create a new task such as um, water the plants in my office. And you can click on this little edit details and you can set a due date. So I'll set that due date. And what I do for the due dates is I don't set the date due date for the date the task is due. I set the date for the day when I want to look at this task next. So I want to model my plans on the office on Wednesday. So I'll set this task to show up on Wednesday and go back to list. And I will maybe add another task saying um, upload video showing how to use Google Tasks Go shift enter goes here and I'll do that for today and I'll be add another task saying um, clean the house including vacuuming and I want to do that tomorrow so I'll click due date tomorrow you can always add some notes here if you want so then I want to sort this list by date so I'll click sort by date now it will show me all the tasks I need to have uh, for all my days. Um, if I want to organize a task for a wedding, I can say put task in this task list saying like go back to my order and say uh, order the food, book the um, marriage commissioner and um, invite the guests and clean, set up the room. Okay, so since I'm in view my order, I want to reorder these tasks. You can simply just drag them around. So I want to say set up the room, do that first. Then I want to, well, first I'll invite the guests and I'll book the marriage commissioner, order the food and then set up the room. When I'm finished at the task, I can check it off and click clear completed, it disappears. I can go to completed tasks and get it back by clicking this checkbox. Um, I can move a task between lists. Say I want to book the marriage commissioner. I want to move this back to my regular task list. So I'll say move to list tasks. And now that item has gone into tasks and it's actually undated. So it appears at the bottom and there's no due date. So I can actually book a date for this task. I want to book the marriage commissioner starting on Thursday. So let's say it's Sunday and I haven't finished this task yet. I got a whole bunch of tasks under Sunday. I can move this task to the next day by going, holding down the control key and hitting the down arrow. This moves it to the next day. This is an easy way to move tasks around, up and down. And I really like this feature when you have a lot of tasks, it's very easy to deal with. So this is a simple example 
Um, if you want to put notes in there, so clean the house, I'll say remember to vacuum the um, ceiling fan in the bathroom. Now when I go back here, I can see this link here. I can click on it and get to the note. Now let's say I wanted to include a link to a web page from my note. So I can go to any web page, say uh, YouTube, or I'll say uh, msn.com, go here. And I wanted to put a link to this page from Google Tasks. So I'll go to this link, go Control C to copy, and paste it into here. You can see that a link has appeared there. So that link is saved in my task note. I can select it, go right click and go go to link and that will bring me back to this page. That's the way you can store web links in your uh, Google task list. So what I've done in my list, I've created task lists for everything and I've included tasks for things I do often, such as when I'm going on a chip, I have a list for packing what I want to pack. And the idea for getting things done is that you want to track every single thing you have to do no matter how small in this list. And that way you don't have to worry about what you have to do anymore. So I've built up a list of actually several thousand tasks and have a great day.